Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions utopian, the sun is high in the sky. It's a truly beautiful afternoon, and the crowd reflect that. Their faces hopeful, their smiles beaming, levels of excitement and expectation are soaring, and you get the feeling that this could be a very special occasion indeed. The matchday noise at this place is truly special. The pride, the passion, it adds to a massive sense of occasion. appear to be shaping up in a 4-4-2 formation well the obvious standout in today's football in this system is that it provides you with extra presence in attack with many shaky defenses about getting the right partnership in that department can pay rich dividends as long as there's a good early supply so playing two strikers can um, can be a real help to this team I mean, 4-4-2 these days, Peter, gets a lot of criticism, but it's, it's unfair. Any system can work if you've got the right players. There's the whistle. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Jordi Alba. He's got such searing pace, Peter. He gets to the byline in the blink of an eye, and from there his crosses are, are pinpoint and very hard to defend against. This opposition defence is going to have its work cut out, trying to keep him quiet. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Pedro Santos. Benteke. In comes the cross. Looking to break out here. Messi. Motta. Yeah, the crowd have tried to spark some excitement, but to no avail. This needs something explosive. That's Busquets. Nice sequence of passes, this. Pedro Santos. Motta. Spread out to the left. He's in plenty of space here. And it's Jordi Alba. Busquets. About to pass it here, really. Luis Suarez! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Suarez did so well to make use of the little space that was afforded to him. It wasn't easy, that. Oh, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. Taylor. Luis Suarez. Herrera cuts it out. Forwards and with intent. Oh, that's a key interception. Drifts off. And play. And the first 45 minutes are up. Although well, it is half time, not a bad watch by any means. And the efforts of both sides have been good, but neither have been able to penetrate. And so we reach the break, and the game remains goalless.
the first half compared with your expectation? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. DC United head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Neither the team any further forward than they were when they started out. Already up and running for the second half. DC United pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half time. They've been lackluster and, and second best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to. And the shot! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Pedro Santos up towards the front line and Benteke! It didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. Drifts off. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Yes, nil-nil and little promise of a goal due to the shot-shy nature of this contest, but I'm not giving up on it. There's plenty of energy on the pitch, not to give up hope just yet. Busquets. And it's Messi. And it's Yedlin. In by Messi. Well, the clearance is short. That's Yedlin. Swings it across. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Drifts off. This has been a better game than the scoreline suggests, and it really does merit a goal. This interception, his positioning was spot on. Messi looks to get on the end of this. Into Miami are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Interesting ball. Now it's Benteke. The black and red have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. Santos with the short one. Fire deep towards the back post. Oh, good ball! Can he finish? And the whistle goes, so nearly a telling finale, but it ends nil-nil.